Dialogue. Hello everyone, welcome to this, uh, let's say this is a Christian's Tech Nuggets. Today we're going to show you how you go about um, burning a disk image. Now on my desktop, for those who can see, you can see that we have an ISO file of a Linux operating system called Nopix. Now, what Nopix does, we're not going to go into because obviously we don't want to uh, make this too long. And uh, it's one of those things that you, if you don't need it, don't worry about it really. But basically, I need to burn this to a DVD because I need it for something. I want to dedicate this video to those of us who have Macs, who want to burn disk images. Uh, I know that a friend of mine, Amy Gilbert, wants to do this. So if you're, you will get a link to this video from me in a bit when I've published it. So uh, follow these instructions, Amy, and you should be good to go. Right, the first thing I need to do is grab me a chair, which I now have. And we're going to open the applications finder. Finder. Um, we're going to open the applications um, window. No, actually, no. It's not the applications. I lied. Sorry. It's utilities. First thing I do, though, is put the CD in. DVD goes in like that because it's a 4 gig disk image, so we want to get this on DVD. Um, Enter. Apple. It's moving that mouse pointer out of the way because we don't actually need that. Um, ah, get up there. Thank you. Right. Okay. So open the disk utility with command shift U. Yeah. System UI server. System dialog. You inserted a blank DVD. Choose an action from the pop up menu or click ignore. Okay, what this is, it's come up because it said I put a blank DVD and it knows what it is, so I'm going to go... QuickTime player, INC virus finder. I'm going to go here with... Menu, closing, menu, find, desk, window, choose menu. I've got rid of it, it's alright. Okay, we're going to do Command Shift U. Utilities, now in. And we're going to go down to Disk Utility, I'm going to hit DI. I want to go down one. Disk Utility, dot app, two. There we go, Disk Utility, Command O on that. Open. Right. Disk Utility, window, Disk Utility, toolbar. Here we are in the disk utility. Now, what we want to do from here is we want to burn the ISO, which is on the desktop, as you can see on the right. So we're going to do Control F2 to get to the menu. Menu bar, Apple. Move to the right until you hear the word image. Disk utility. Disk utility. File. File. Edit. Edit. Images. Images. There we go. Images. Go into images by pressing down arrow. Images. Menu. Seven items. Verify. Ellipsis. Scan image for restore. Verify. Checksum. Convert. Ellipsis. Burn. Ellipsis. Command B. Burn. You can do Command B as well. I didn't think of doing that command. So press enter on burn. Burn. Select image to burn. Okay. So select image to burn. And we've got a, a handy dandy little thing Will here a dialogue forward icon mode radio button list column mode radio cursor search text field blank progress indicator sidebar table vertical split file table desktop wednesday 27 okay, let's open this up. three rows added can oppix underline v6.2.1 dvd-2010-01-31-1.iso saturday there's the one we want to burn that's what we want to burn to dvd so we're going to go to the right can't bur burn default go button. to burn Press now in window interact with dialogue for window disk utility burn disk in Ready to burn. Burn options. Speed. After burning. Right, so what what we've got here is a dialogue that's come up. It's saying, what do you want to do with this disc? Um, so we're going to go through this dialogue. I'm going to select, set my options such that this disc image will not be burned so fast. Because if you burn some disk images too fast, they don't take. So we have to do this as slow as possible. Super drive, text. So it's asking me which drive to burn in, so we select super drive. Check, check box. Ready to burn. Burn options. Speed. Maximum possible, 8x, pop-up button. So we're going to press that. Menu, three items, check. 8x, 4x, check mark, map 4x. Check mark, maximum possible, 8, 4x. I'm going to go for four times, because it's the slowest I can Close burn in. with this drive. Test only. Uncheck checkbox. Erase disk before burning. Dim uncheck checkbox. Leave disk dependable. Dim uncheck checkbox after burning. Verify burn data. Check checkbox. I don't want to do that. Although I will probably leave it on. Eject disk. Selected radio button one of mount on desktop. Radio button two of two. Eject button. Cancel but burn. Default button. Press burn. 
Burning image. Can OPP IX underline V6.2.1 DBD-2010-01-31 on dot ISO closing dialog. So what it's doing now. Busy progress indicator. Cancel, but writing track. Writing track. This should now be converting the disk. And uh, hopefully this will burn the disk image as an actual usable disk. Now there's an other there's another way you can do this and it's the wrong way. You don't just go to your desktop, find the disk image, uh, control option shift M on that to get the context menu and go to um, the um, option that says burn whatever it is dot ISO that doesn't work what that will actually do is result in you ending up having an ISO disk image on a DVD that is not the one that you want what you actually want is to have it extract the data from the disk and burn it as the disk would have originally been that's what this method does so it's now doing it, and um, as I'm just do doing something here, um, it's now burning the disc, and uh, all should be well. I'm just cleaning the window, just cleaning the screen on my Mac because it's flipping mucky. I can barely see what I'm doing. So you guys, well, if you guys were actually seeing the screen from my angle, you wouldn't be able to see what I was doing. Anyway, we're going to now go away, and hopefully this will have taken. It's burning now, so I'm going to go over to the recorder utility and see what happens. Finder. Thanks for listening, and I hope you've enjoyed time player. this video. Quick time player.